What would a messy night be without baba ganoush? Roasted eggplant, roasted garlic, lemon juice, tahini, olive oil? So many good flavors to make such a simple Mediterranean messe dish. And I'm going to show you how to simple it really is to a bubble batch of baba ganoush in your home kitchen today. The key to a really good baba ganoush starts with, <laughs> you guessed it, eggplant. And today I've got two fresh long eggplants here ready to get roasted fresh from the market today. So I have my baking sheet lined with parchment. To my eggplant, I'm just going to drape some olive oil on it rub them all over the eggplant. That way these guys have something to roast in. <laughs> Get them all coated <laughs> just like that with a little bit of olive oil. Now my hands are kind of slippery. And in the meantime, I have my oven. It's been preheating for 200 degrees Celsius, uh, ready to roast. So, got the oven nice and hot. And in order to finish my baba ganoush, I want to add some garlic to it. But I don't really like the taste of raw garlic. So, what I will also be doing while my eggplant is roasting, is roasting some garlic. So, here I have a whole head of garlic that I have just topped off the top layer so that the bulbs are exposed. I have a piece of foil, laying a little bit of foil here. And then, I'm just going to drizzle over a little bit of olive oil just so it has something to work with while it's roasting. Just like that. Perfect, looks good already. And then I'm gonna drizzle over a little bit of sea salt. So I'm just go to my cupboard, grab a little bit of sea salt, and just sprinkle it right on top. Mm, this is gonna be so good. I really love the flavor of roasted garlic. What's great is this is definitely a tip that you can use for other recipes, such as like a sauce or any type of garlic bread. And then literally, I just take the garlic and like a little gift, I just package it up like a baked potato. <laughs> so I will just place it on the tray with my eggplant and then I'll pop it in the oven. It's gonna uh, bake in the oven for about 45 minutes to an hour. I will check on it around the 45 minute mark. So let me just pop it in. All right. And then when it's done roasting, I'm gonna peel my eggplant, I'm gonna remove the garlic from the bowls, and then we are gonna mix up our baba ganoush. And it's gonna be so good. One of the perfect mezze night items. So stay tuned. Okay, so our eggplant and our garlic have been roasting in the oven. They are done. So now it's time to get peeling and start making our baba ganoush. So let me get a towel so we can deal with this hot plate here. Bring it right over. Ooh, look at that. Yeah, so nice. And as you can see, the eggplants are nice and soft in texture. So the skin will peel just right off. So I've already started peeling them here. So literally, it just comes right off. And I love this technique because it's such minimal prep. You can just literally toss it in the oven and then <laughs> let the oven do the work and then the peeling is, is nice and easy. So these guys are all nice and peeled. I really enjoy bottle ganache. Eggplant was not something that I really grew up eating, but it was something that I kind of caught on to as an adult actually. I was lead to the eggplant game. And uh, you know, once I tried it, I really liked it. And since then I've been learning all different types of how to prepare eggplant. Parmesan, baba ganoush, eggplant marinara, so many different types, and I love working with it. So, all right, it's got to some peel. This needs to hang on a little bit. So I let mine rest for a little bit, so they're not too hot, but they still are a little warm. So I definitely recommend let it rest. You know, we don't have to work with something sizzling right out of the oven. <laughs> and you see how it peels just right off. And it actually pays to work with some of these big eggplants here. It's kind of intimidating when you see it in the produce section. You think, what am I going to do with all that? <laughs> but actually, once it rolls, it really condenses quite a bit. And actually, it makes it much easier to peel just a couple than you have to peel four or five. You know what I mean? So, <laughs> so I'm just getting that all nice and peeled. The skin removed. Looks great. The texture. And then I just chop off the lid, so just like that. There's a little extra eggplant and a little extra skin there. Just remove that. 
And if you need help, you can also use your knife just to glide along the extra places that it's difficult to remove the peel. But for the most part, super simple. So now let me just move my pen back over to the stove so we can get chopped in our eggplant. So at this texture, I find that you really actually don't need to put it in a food processor, but if you want to, you can. But it chops so easily. So I'm just gonna slice it a couple of times lengthwise and then just give it a nice slice. Just like that. I mean, it's slicing like butter. <laughs> it's so soft. So that is excellent. I love that about vertically because literally you just pop it in the oven in that hour. 45 minutes is free for you to do whatever you want to do, or whatever you need to do. And the eggplant is doing its thing, and before you know it, you got a nice mezze meal on the table. So, a nice salad and some nice bread, and all you need. <laughs> so, I'm gonna get this one all nice and diced, just like the other one. I mean, it's really so soft. Mm. I can't wait to taste it. I love roasted eggplants. The smell of it too. It smells so amazing. Alright, so just like that, into my bowl it goes. <laughs> it's kind of fun. Alright, oh, my towel. <laughs> Here we go. So, now to that, I want to add some lemon juice. So, I have a whole lemon. I am just going to also do my lemon squeezing technique, rub it back and forth to release some of the juices, cut it in half. And then I will juice this guy right in, right side up, right into my eggplant mixture. So, and I, I find that one lemon is sufficient. Actually, I mean, this one's a pretty big guy, so half of it might be good enough. It's releasing a lot of juice, so that's great. So, I'm just gonna keep it at that. And then I wanna season it. So, I wanna add some salt. Just sprinkle it right in. And I want to add some pepper, some black pepper. You could also use fresh ground pepper. And then I want to add some cumin, just a little bit to add that nice spice undertone. A little bit of oregano. Some olive oil. Just drizzle it right over. Some crushed red pepper flakes. Yeah, we're spicing it up a little bit. <laughs> some tahini. I love tahini. Tahini is ground sesame seed paste. So it's literally the sesame seeds that have been ground to make like a butter, like such as peanut butter or almond butter. And they, it's delicious. It's so, so thick and it adds that nice nutty flavor to the food. So as you can see, I'm just going ahead and stirring this all together just to incorporate real nicely. Ooh, and one more thing, my garlic cloves. So, they have just roasted so nicely in the oven, as you can see here. It's like a little package. And the garlic will just squeeze so nicely out of here. So I am just gonna squeeze some out. I will probably use about half of it. So, but depending on how much garlic you like, you can use as much or as little as you like. If you're not a big garlic fan, you also don't have to use it. <laughs> but I love the flavor of it. And I prefer to go ahead and roast the garlic because I don't like to flavor raw garlic, especially in my baba ganoush. So I find that the roasted flavor of the garlic complements the roasted eggplant really nice. Perfect. So I'm just going to add that right in. Mmm, smells amazing. Okay. Now I'll just give that a nice mix all together. And as I'm mixing it, I'm just going to fork to mix it. And I'm just mashing it a little bit as I go. So it's already super soft. I don't want it to be super creamy. I do like my baba ganoush chunky. But if you didn't want it to be creamy, then you can also place it in a food processor or blender and get it all nice and creamy. So and now, last but not least, I have some thick yogurt. So either Suzume yogurt or Greek yogurt. I'm gonna add a couple of heaping tablespoons. <laughs> That's more like half a cup, really. <laughs> and I'm just gonna stir it right in. Mm. Oh my gosh, it looks so good already. Yeah. Mm. And the smell of all the spices in there, with the eggplant and the garlic. One more tablespoon there. 
smells so nice. And this is a great, uh, not only for like messy night, but you can also just set this out as a dip for a party. So if you're having some friends over and you're making a bunch of different dishes, some hummus, like some salad, whatever it might be, this is also a great dip to serve with some pita bread or some pita chips. Come on. <laughs> so good. Alright, so now that it's nice and combined, I think it's worthy of a taste test. What do you think? <laughs> so, give me fork. Mmm. Ooh, that is excellent. The perfect blend of the tahini with the garlic and the yogurt and spices. Really, really good. So I'm gonna go ahead and plate this guy up. So I have my beautiful little serving dish here. I am just gonna pour it right in, just like that. Make sure to get every last bit in there. <laughs> Don't wanna miss out on any. There we go. And then I'm just gonna drizzle a little bit of olive oil right on top, just for decor. And also, a little bit of fresh parsley, just to have a little bit of cream. Yeah? And there we have it. So simple, so delicious. The oven did most of the work for us. And I have a delicious Mediterranean Mese Baba Ganoush. So that's on the menu tonight. And I hope that you take the time to make it for your friends and family and that you enjoy. <laughs> so until next time, enjoy your Baba Ganoush and best greetings.